jungle. Hey, you want to see this cool magic trick? Oh wait, you've already seen my magic. Well, whatever. You're doing. You're getting it again. You might wanna. You might. He died. Anyways, this episode is brought to you by Smash Brothers Zelda, or I guess in this case Twilight Princess Zelda. You know what? I did complain about a bow. That one is clearly the better bow. Uh, I get rid of. Let's get rid of one of the other knight's bow. This dude's face. What is this dude's face? Anyways, hey there, guys. Luigi Advance here. Welcome back to an episode of Breath of the Wild. Last time, I uh, we visited Robbie, Robbie at his uh, research lab. Oh, we'll use you. Well, we visited Rob Robbie in his research lab, and you know we got some crazy new things like the ability to create a uh, what you call it, um, ancient tech gear and stuff. What is that? This is the forest, and that's also a thing. Where am I in relation to everything? There's Skull Lake. Oh, am I actually? I am actually nearby. Oh, well, if that's the case, I forgot what direction is that. Am I facing the right direction? No, I would be. Fa I will need to face directly ahead. Sort of. Sure, right here. We'll we'll go right here. Well, I'll just, I'll just surf my way. Shield surf my way over here. Because if you remember, um. I don't know, a few episodes ago, uh, we met Pachinko. That's not his name, but I can't bother remembering his name. We ran into that, we ran into him, and he said there's a spring nearby that correlates to one of the memories I have. Also, it got super dark all of a sudden, which is weird. Also, there are a lot of uh, guardians <laughs> over there. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. There's also a Korok seed nearby. Oh no. I wonder where it could be. Watch it be on the other side. Yeah. Hold, hold on to that thought, thought Korok seed. Because, uh, you know, we gotta start off this episode with a memory. This is nice. Oh, wait. This looks, this looks awfully familiar. I'm seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. Please just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? There. Huh. One day I will take off this mask. <laughs> and, then the, and then the mask vibrates, reminding me, Hey, fool, there is a Koroxy nearby. Please find me. Problem is, I don't know where to find you! I don't even know where you are! Are you truly on the other side? Pfft. 
<laughs> well, if I ever... Why? why? Why does it need to be that complicated to open this? Do do do, waiting for the fire to disappear. It's not here. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was one here. Alright, well, it's somewhere back up, either uh, like back up there or somewhere inside the shrine. Am I right to assume one of these? Am I? I don't know. But first, let's let's talk to this goddess statue. What's up? I notice you're here. You have done well to find this spring. Offer Dinral scale and receive from the Red Spirit to the Spring of Power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. Guess what? If this sounds familiar, and it should, and yeah, this is the exact, not the, well, the exact same scenario where we had to find this time Dinral, one of the one of the other dragons you could find roaming around Hyrule, and just grab a scale from that one. Seems easy, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. If you know where to find it, which I know where to find it, but it's like in areas we haven't been to yet. I'm trying to also see where it is this seed wants me to, what this seed wants me to do. Is it as simple as picking up this rock? It is as simple as picking up this rock. Yes, I have found you. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, hi, Blood Moon. Well, good thing you didn't happen while I was collecting the stupid, uh, the blue flame. Because then everything I just killed would have come back. Oh, that seems so menacing, just appearing from over the horizon. <laughs> or just to see in general from the Spring of Power. That. I thought that was a Lionel. I almost pooped my pants for a second. Like, I know there's a Lionel here somewhere. And when I do encounter it, I don't want to encounter it. So anyways, we're just gonna... Just gonna let this happen. I think there's a seed in here. I think. It's hard to tell. Everything's going red. Man, even with the autumn leaves, it looks weird. Can I... Let me skip this. Because you've seen this cutscene once, and I am never showing it again. Oh, hi. What's up? There is a seed here. Cool. Hold on. I don't want you. Wee! Haha! <laughs> you got me. What's up? You've just been countered. How does that make you feel? Hi, you just need to stop. Stop existing. Is that it? No, there's a third one somewhere. Maybe? No, it's dead. Let me collect your materials. I need to start collecting you. And, and you'll see why if we ever get there in time. I hear something. I hear a dragon. But where? Where is it coming from? You guys hear it too, right? Who was here? Oh! Hi, you! I didn't realize you're in this area! Well, I mean, I would chase after you, but you're high up in the sky. I'm also trying to hunt this Korok, so... Alright, well, that's interesting to know. Can I... Is there anything to do? What is here? Is there a nut on the other side? There is a nut on the other side. I do not want to use extreme close-up! Yeah, You were distracted! Boy! Give me back my arrow. Also... Let me s I need to switch bows because of the stupid, uh, uh, storm I had to deal with trying to get back to where I was. 
All right, well, let's continue to climb. Oh, hey, remember when I was talking about Lionel? Yeah, I don't, I do not want to fight you. You're a blue one, which means you're stronger than the original variant that I fought. So I kind of want to avoid you, <laughs> if I can. I mean, if I could bat, if I could just battle him, that that's okay. But like, Fishwife isn't around to save my butt. <laughs> Don't you, you saw nothing? Th thank you. I'm I'm just a Korok. Yeah, you found me and all that stuff. D don't mind me. I actually need to get higher on higher ground, so I I have to go round him again. Because I think if I just keep going that way, it's not gonna take me where I want to. I mean, yes, it will take me where I want to, but like, I I want to get to the shrine. In order to get to that shrine, you need to get to a high place. You saw nothing! All of you saw nothing. Leave me alone. I love how that Lionel started getting suspicious and then it's just like, ah, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> it's nothing. It really was just a Korok. This, this is stupid. Anyways, that's where I wanted to go, but you see where the shrine is. It's like super high. So I'm avoiding that area and going on higher ground. Actually, now thinking about it. Hold on. Slide detour. And this is going to break. It's going to break. I'm waiting for it. If I remember right, I think there was a Korok seed near here. I don't know why, I vaguely remember climbing up a rock face and trying to get a seed. Yeah, it's reacting, so I am close. It's probably on the other side of this one, right? Aha! Found you! D I'm gonna die! Hey, you're, you look like you're falling! You okay? Well, I'm fine now. <laughs> Aha! Thank you, memory! <laughs> You've activated at the most inconvenient time. <laughs> Lol. Well, whatever. At least we get to explore the surrounding area. Yeah, there goes the dragon. I wonder where it's heading. I know where it's heading, but do you? I actually might do a little detour and get that spring of power thing. Just so I can get that out of the way. But again, I, I I don't want to. Alright, um, how far am I to where I want to be? I'm not that far off, so I should be able to reach it. Maybe. I can, I could keep, I can, I, what I'm trying to say is I could keep this going and not have it be boring. But like, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I... Ramming out of stamina. Oh, fine, I'll go the long way around. You would think I would have enough stamina at this point to even, like, bother. Yeah, I could reach it. There's no need for me to do that. Alright, cool. I did it. Hmm. Sorry, is this in like this sudden landscape just kind of kind of jogs my memory a bit while I was goofing around slash um, finding seeds? If I remember right, there's another seed here, but it involves boulders for some we uh, for some reason. I think I'm going away from it. Oh, no, that's not the one I was thinking of, but sure, I'll take. Don't run into me. I could have mount mounted you, but I decided not to. You should be grateful. Uh, which one is four? This is four. And then that's five. Man, that was easy. 
Boy, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, I found a hearty truffle. Neat. Oh, hi. It's you guys. No, don't bother me. Can't, can't you see I'm trying to find something? Yeah, I don't know why, but I vaguely remember this area. I don't know why. I don't think there's anything significant here. But I could have sworn. Hmm. Oh well, I'll, I'll just keep going then. If I find it, I find it. But like... I honestly remember there being something. Maybe up here? Well, you're reacting already, so I am on the right track, I guess? Hi. Bye. Oh, wait, no, I meant to throw... Okay. I don't know why... What?! Do you just randomly explode? Okay, I see a boulder, but what am I aiming for? Oh, I see what I'm aiming for. Oh. That's the... Oh, this is going to be interesting. Because if I screw this up... Oh, hold on. I'm just gonna break before I do anything. <laughs> I called it as I see it. Um. Stop attacking the other bull. <laughs> How far did that take it? That that's gone now. <laughs> All right. Uh. Let's try you. There's another Lionel? Oh, hell no. Maybe that's why I remember this one so well. Alright, how far did that take you? If it's close enough that I can... I, it, it is. It's close enough to where I can, like, just knock it in. Thanks, fishwife. That's a different colored Lionel, I think, though. What is that? No, that's still the blue one. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of a, of a different colored Lionel that we haven't encountered yet. Yes. I said different color Lionel. I did say that. You sh And yes, you should be worried. Alright, can I just push you in? I can. I just have to make sure you don't fall. No, 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 no. No. I thought I had stasis. No. You don't do that. You don't get to do that. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. No, 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 no. You stay away from that, Lionel. Oh, this is getting nowhere fast. Come on, let me hit it off. I don't care in what direction. I just need to hit it off. Where the hell did you go now? Ah, oh, the seed. At least you're in a better position now. I had to use the stupid flame blade just to do to enough, just to knock you over. All right, come on, come on now. Let me just simply 
push you. Look, if you could just roll into it, you're like in the perfect position for it to be rolled into. Come on. This is the worst game of boulder golf I have to I ever have to do. At this point, I got like a, a, a quadruple bogey, which I know is not a thing, but like, come on. You're the worst. I wasted two weapons on you. And I almost got spotted by a Lionel. This is the worst day ever. It seems like there's something else over here. You know, my... My curiosity is gonna get me again. It's gonna get me killed again because I remember there was a... The Korok was shaking, but I don't know if it was pointing to the rocks or the fact that there's another seed nearby those rocks. Ah, uh, I'll be right back. I was right. There's another seed hidden somewhere. But where? You reacted and now you're gone. Is it because it's raining now? What? Oh, you're here, but it's raining right now. Can I- I can't blow you away. I have to, like... That works. Thank you, Flame Blade. You came through once again. I wonder how many seeds I'm up to now. I'm super curious. Too bad there's, like, no actual way to check unless you go through a loading screen. Because I have 30 right now, but, like, I, I know I have more than 30 because I spent a lot of it upgrading my, um, inventory space. Where am I now? Oh, I'm probably right where the blue flame is. Alright, well. it's <laughs> enough distractions. Let's actually continue on to what I've been trying to get to the entire episode. Quick, while he's down! I have made a critical error. I decided to take on the blue Lionel. Yep, I am that crazy. Do I? I don't have another flame blade. Alright, well. Hey, Master Sword! Oh, I can't equip it right now because it's in the middle of an animation. Hi. Uh, I have the Thunder Spear. <laughs> Where's the Master Sword? There it is. Don't mind me, I'm just dodging out of the way. What I really want is your spear. <laughs> also, you're charging at close range. What? Yes, don't. don't. Can I? Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. That totally got you in the face. Oh, shit. I'm fine. Now I'm out of the Rook's protection! Come on, bro. Come at me. Oh, boy! Oh, hi. I saw a flash. What's up? Oh, it's the storm. Can I poke you? Nope. All right. I have stuff that can actually kill me. Hold on. 
Oh, hold on. I need to de-equip everything. Here, I'll equip this shield since that doesn't seem like to conduct electricity. And this, because I still have it. And then... Not in terrible need. Alright, we're fine. Everything's fine. I won't get... I won't get, uh... Stabbed. But it sucks now because I'm doing a lot less damage now. I'm also out of arrows. How did that happen? Ow! My shield wasn't out. Ow. Yeah, I walked into that like an idiot. Okay, I need to get some good hits in. That's some good hits. You know what I'm kind of shocked and mad about at the same time? Is that th this guy is not getting electrocuted. I should have gotten hit. And now I'm out of a weapon. Uh, that is not... Actually, this doesn't... Cause I, it's not metal. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's like, I don't want to use it, but it's like, at this point, I have no choice. Can I, I, was about, I had a chance to mount you. Woo. Hi. Mount? No. I don't know why, but this is like an oddly fitting battlefield. Just like out in the open, in the middle of a thunderstorm. Oh, I got him! Yo! Let's get him. Let's mount his butt and stab him. Oof. Where am I? I'm rolling around. Oh, he's almost done. He's almost done, and then I'm almost done, so it's just like, it's fitting. Did it too early. I also need to change camera angles. Good news is, this thunderstorm's almost over, so it's like, pretty soon I'll be able to switch back to... ...a decent shield. Oh no. Well, I still have this, but it will get burned if I t it gets touched by that flame. Oh, that was weird. This should be it, though. I saw I saw his HP for a second. He's almost done. I'm out of arrows. Okay, forgot. Oh, you're making this so easy for me now. All right, he's dead. Oh boy. And just as the storm ended as well. That's hilarious. Now give me your weapon. Ooh, you had shock arrows? I'm surprised you didn't bother using it. Oh, and I got a stronger variant of the Lionel bow. And another Lionel bow? Oh, I no, it's I can't carry it. Oh. <laughs> um, well. Uh guess I'll get rid of you. 
Neat. All right, now I can actually try to get to the place where I've been trying to get to. I can't believe I would just use the Master Sword to move a rock. The perfect use for the Master Sword. The, the weapon that can defeat Calamity Ganon. Yes. Good job. You destroyed a boulder. Alright, well, we're near where I wanted to be anyways. So, that's neat and all. You don't see me. I was never here. There's another seed nearby? Ah, oh, but I don't have time for you. I also don't know where to begin to look. Actually, I have a slight idea. I just need to find a rock. There was probably a rock up there. Hold on. I need a rock. Or boulder. Whatever you call it. Excuse me, don't mind me, I'm just taking your boulder. I was never here! You didn't see me! Ow! You bitch! I just needed a boulder! Why the hell do you have bomb arrows? Oh, I swear, people are rude nowadays. I just needed to take the rock just so I could get the stupid seed. And it's just like, uh-uh, that's our rock. We're gonna blow you up now. Rude. Where the hell the shrine? The shrine is right there. I need to climb still, but this will make it ten times easier. Maybe. If I don't lose my stamina. Which it, I shouldn't. Oh, hi. All right, uh, let's get my climbing gear on. Cause like, I need to speed up a bit. Actually, now that I think about it, if I activate this, I can still warp here, right? I'm asking for a friend. Because if I remember right, Ah, yes, I'm here. Let's activate you. And can I still do it? Because, um... Yep, th there it is. Right over there. Cool. And now I'm gonna make another quick detour to grab that. Grab that beaming red light. Okay, so if you want some context on what is going on and why I'm doing this, uh, recall back to... Fuck, I don't even... I don't even remember what episode it was. But recall back to the episode where I was on, uh, the Hylian Bridge. And, uh... You know, something similar like that happened, where, like, a light showed up out of nowhere, and it's like, Oh, yeah, you need to go here, to this specific area, look up at the sky, and then you'll see a red star. Just, just, just falling out from the sky. Okay, long story short, this is, like, part two of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC. And, of course, you're right next to a Moblin. Don't, don't attack me. And we got the salvager vest! Uh, essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the cloud sea. It's a rather rare find. Alright, so... Let me just resort this. So now we have the headwear. And the... The, 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 the vest! All we're missing is the pants. Ow! We're one step closer of becoming Rex. Alright, well, uh, since I can warp back here, apparently. Let's warp back here. Alright, I'm back. I'm going in the shrine.
Oh, it's just a- oh. Well, I'm not surprised it's just a blessing. Can you give me a weapon? I used, like, all of them beating up a Lionel. You know what? I traded a broken flame blade for another broken flame bl uh, not broken flame blade. <laughs> but I just basically traded one weapon for another. That's fine. So actually, you know what? It's actually kind of useful to carry at least a flame item. Because you never know when you might need it. Like, when you're hunting Korok seeds or stuff like that. Oh good, it's still nighttime. That that's actually a good thing because since I'm here, we've heard rumors of a man named Kilton. And that he's here. Also, let me put on let me put back on the cork mask. And we've heard that he's hiding somewhere around Skull Lake. Well, if we just come over here and drop over here, Oh. Uh. Huh? Oh, it's just a Hylian. Who are you? Me? My name is Kilden. I suppose you're here because you heard I was opening up a monster shop and you want to see for yourself. Monster shop? Yes, I am opening a monster shop called Fang and Bone, but I'm still preparing for my grand opening. Here's my business card. Fang and Bone, come see old Kilton for the most monstrous deals in all of Hyrule. I'm gonna need that car back. It's the only one I have. Anyway, do you, uh, are you into monsters? I mean, I like them. How, uh, uh how much do you like them? Aww. Judging by your face, I adore them! I love monsters more than you do! I, uh, sorry. I did it again. I just love the field of monster research so much that I decided to open a shop all about monsters. I call it Fang and Bone. I travel all around Hyrule and search for rare and exciting monster parts, but I'm not sure which village I should visit next. Kakariko Village or Hateno Village. Though, Rito Village and Zora's Domain are also good options. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I could go all the way to Gerudo Town or Laurelin Village, but Lake Akala is much closer. Arrgh! I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself! I can't just sit around here while there are monsters to be studied. I'm off! I'm sure we'll meet again in some village during the night. Fare thee well. Poof! Whoa! Where'd he go? Weird. Oh well. <laughs> Let's warp! To a town! I don't know. Hateno. Hateno's always a good place to go. Because it's still night, and I think I can do this now still. No, don't turn into daylight now. Don't do it. No. If it turns to day, I'm screwed. Hey, what's up? <laughs> ah, it's just you. You startled me. My monster shop is now open for business. Seeing as how you're a first-time customer here at Fang and Bone, our first order of business will be to converting your monster parts to Mon. The heck is Mon? Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Eh, just kidding. There's no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turn them into money. Here's the deal. If you bring me monster parts, I exchange them for Mon. I'm only- I'm the only business at Hyrule that accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, eh? Anyway, you can spend your Mon on various types of monster gear that I created based on my research. Ah, another thing. I'm always developing new monster gear, so remember to check back between your adventures. So, let's exchange your monster parts for uh, if you have- Sure. Sure. So... Let's, uh, so, any monster parts you pick up has a value. So, like, the ancient core costs a hundred, and so on and so forth. So, if you have, like, I don't know, an absurd amount of monster parts you can't get rid of, you can sell them. Just like you can sell them for rupees. Uh, I'll sell 18. Yes. And, of course, the more common, the less value it has, but, like, 
the super rare ones, like, oh, I don't know, this Lionel Hoof, or, like, any of the other parts, you know, they, they cost more. Like, they, like, the Guardian parts that they, they cost. The <laughs> Denro, Farouche's scale, yeah, no. Alright. Uh, let's spend some on, because I want to show them off. The Lizalfos mask. The Lizalfos can be a pain. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just showing off the gear. So, like, you can actually buy stuff. This monster extract is apparently can be used to cook. I don't know what. I don't know how. I never bothered with it. He sells a wooden maw for some reason. Here's a hammer. <laughs> it just... <laughs> it will send the person flying. And then you have the mask. The Pocabla mask, the Moblin mask, the Lazalfo mask, that that will basically make you blend in with this specific enemy type. So like Pocablins, Moblins, Lazalfos. It's neat. And then of course we have the monster bridle and saddle. Don't know why. But there it is. Now there's obviously more, since he kinda of says check back between your adventures. There is one gear I'll be aiming for, but that's pretty much it. Also, as a final note, he only operates at night, and as soon as it turns daytime, he will leave. But he will just poof. He will poof from existence. I will show an example, but I, I you know, it, it didn't happen. But! One last thing, I know, uh, this episode's gone on long enough already, but, like, I just want to get most of the stuff I wanted to get done out of the way. Where's the stupid stable? Because if you remember, that guy was looking for information on Kilton, so... Hey, buddy! Sup? Good evening! Need info about Kilton? Oh, there, there's there's no need. I found him. Oh! I needed a picture of him. Oh. I forgot. Oh. And it's morning. Well, I'm gonna call this an episode. So if you like what you see here, slap that like button. If you really like what you see here, slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. If you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And next time, I'll get the damn picture. I forgot I needed.